Hey there, everyone. Um, so, hello, happy Friday. Um, get, what is this? Get details. Uh -huh, it's all right, it's okay. It's just things popping up and talking to me while I'm trying to talk to you. So I just wanted to get on here and say, firstly, I hope you've all had a fantastic week. And I really wanted to get on here today and talk about beliefs. Um, firstly, because I've been doing a bit of belief work myself in my own journaling. And secondly, because I think that as I did that, the thoughts that came up for me were really that I think so many people have heard about beliefs, know a bit about beliefs, are aware that they have some limiting beliefs or unresourceful beliefs that they know hold them back in some way. Hi, Sally, nice to see you. Um, it's really funny, like it pops up right on top of the screen in front of me. It's really funny how it does that. Hey, um, so yeah, so if you're watching this, if you're watching it back later, say hello, tell me who you are. Um, you can, I can see you, but you can't hear me. Aha, uh -huh. hmm, let me see. Is there a problem with hearing? I'm going to go on my, <laughs> bear with me a second. Let me see if I can hear myself. Uh, let's see, let's see. So, bear with me, Sally, can you hear me yet? Can you hear me yet? Uh, let's see, let's see. Uh -huh. so, <laughs> I can hear me, right. Can you hear me yet? So it must be working. Okay, so here's the thing about beliefs. Lots of people know about them. Lots of people are aware of some of the limiting beliefs that they've got. OK, so we, could, we all know that maybe we have some of those beliefs going on, like I'm not good enough or I'm not ready or um, I don't want to leave. Like uh, I can't leave my children because um, I feel bad or I can't go and do a job or I can't start a business because, because, because. And so we know we have some of those beliefs going on. And lots of people are certainly aware there's been loads around recently over the last year or so about money beliefs and money mindset beliefs. Um, and so that's another area that people are becoming more and more aware of. But I think what we do all the time is we massively, massively underestimate actually the power of our beliefs and how they literally shape our entire world. You know, we see the colour red and we believe it's red because that's what we've been taught. It's a belief. We have the belief that that is red, but it's only red because we've taken that on as a belief. Someone else might have been taught that that's a totally different colour. And I, I think that there, there are so many layers and so much depth to actually how massively our beliefs change and shape both the world as we see it, how we understand everything around us, how we connect with everything, how we feel about everything, how um, we like tap into our emotions and whether like whether we embrace them or, or whether we run away from them, how we see our dreams and our goals and whether we're up for taking action to do that or whether we kind of step away from it and then question ourselves. Our beliefs literally shape who we are as a person. They shape the absolute life that we're living. They shape the people that we connect with. They shape the partners that we choose. They shape whether we have children or not. They they shape what jobs we do. They shape the whole thing. So our whole lives are built on our beliefs, particularly our fundamental beliefs, those big beliefs that kind of we think life is made up from. So, for example, people who believe in God have a real big fundamental belief there that is their foundation from which they live their lives. And actually, that's hugely helpful because I think and what I've been learning more and more myself is that as human beings, we need to believe there's something more. We need to believe there's something bigger than us because that gives us this solid base, this solid foundation from which we then feel safe enough to grow and explore and do new things because we feel like there's something that's bigger than us so it's not just about us and I actually believe it's actually one of my beliefs that there is absolutely something bigger than us that we are part of a much bigger whole and I think regardless of what beliefs you might have around that I think it's really interesting to know and just to notice for a second is how do those beliefs serve you um, how often do you tap in and, and think about those beliefs? Or for you, until now, have they maybe been kind of subconscious things that have been running in the background that you haven't noticed? Because quite often we don't notice them, right, until there's a problem. And we certainly don't notice the powerful beliefs, the 
the beliefs that really push us forward, the beliefs that really help us live our lives. Because not only do we have these unresourceful beliefs that can hold us back, but we also have all of these empowering beliefs that push us forward. And then, of course, we have beliefs in the middle that do neither. They just kind of sit there and their beliefs, are, and it's kind of, it shapes the life that we live. Like, grass is this, and this is this. It's a whole kind of perception of everything, right? So the reason I wanted to get on here and do this today is that I wanted to get you to actually tap in for a moment around what are some of your fundamental beliefs? What are some of those beliefs that you've literally built your life around, probably without the awareness that you're doing that, because most of our beliefs um, are developed while we're young, before we're seven years old. So I should take a bit of time to look now and go, well, what are those fundamental beliefs that my life is built upon? And how is that shaping the life that I'm living right now? How is that having an impact on the choices that I make every single day? How is that having an impact on how I show up, how I behave, how I feel, how I think? Um, because the amazing thing about beliefs is that beliefs aren't truth. Beliefs are not absolute truth because everyone has different beliefs. So everyone has their version of the truth. So it's not the absolute truth. Our beliefs aren't based on our absolute truth. Our beliefs are based on what we believe to be true, on what we perceive to be true. But what's amazing about that is because it's not absolute truth, we get to change it. We can change those beliefs. And if we want to install some new, more empowering beliefs that are actually going to help us to feel more fulfilled in life, happier in life, achieve our dreams in life, achieve our goals in life, kind of create a life that we're really excited and passionate about living, where we get to wake up every single day and we get to choose and we get to go and explore this amazing world around us and we get to connect with people who are incredible and amazing. And so, like, what would those beliefs be that mean you can live this life to the absolute fullest? And that's what I want you to think about. And the truth is, our beliefs we get our beliefs just because we hear it or we see it again and again and it's backed up by evidence we start subconsciously collecting evidence there's a little part of our brain that's like the little investigator and every time we get a bit of evidence that proves that belief is true it's like filed away in a filing cabinet in the back of our brains right and so those beliefs become stronger and stronger and stronger and stronger as we grow up and as we collect more evidence but as I said before it doesn't mean that they're true so what we can do is we actually get to decide what beliefs we want and so I, I'm asking you to stop today and think what beliefs do you want what beliefs do you want and you could even ask yourself like if what what are those beliefs that you wish you had perhaps that if you think about the life that you currently live you think wow god life would be easier if I believed that to be true about life because I recognized a while ago and it's been a journey for me because I grew up as a person who is not religious in any way but I would say spiritual. But I realized a little while ago that actually I get to decide if I believe believe that there's something bigger than me. I get to decide if I want to take on the belief that I'm guided. I get to decide if I want to take on the belief that I'm actually just a small part of something much bigger and that there's actually a, a more important purpose out there for me and I've just got to keep on my path and stay in alignment and I and, and I trust that that will take me in the right direction and so I get to choose if that's a belief that I want to install and that I want to live by and I realize actually yes because I do want that because I want to feel more connected I want to feel that there's something more I want to feel that there's a bigger purpose in life because when I feel those things that's when I feel amazing that's when I feel like I'm unstoppable that's when I feel like I'm not just by myself that's when I feel like I've tapped into something way bigger and um, and because of that I feel like I'm able to do so much more and I can recognize then when my ego kicks in and, and tries to stop me from doing some of those things so where's that happening in your life like what are the beliefs that you can step into and take on what fundamental beliefs can you start living by if you want to that will make life easier hi Miranda thank you you agree absolutely um so we get to choose them right 
But so many people don't realize that. So many people just don't have the awareness or maybe they think about the limiting beliefs they have, which means unfortunately that they're focusing on the limiting beliefs they have, which means that all your energy is going into the limiting beliefs. And I believe that where energy goes, <laughs> where focus goes, energy flows, right? So it means that you've, you've highlighting these instead of creating these beautiful empowering beliefs that will make life easier that will make life more joyful that will mean that you can actually do so much more and be unstoppable because either you've got help or you've got support or there's a bigger picture for you or a bigger purpose for you or that actually whatever you put your mind to you can choose to create because you get to absolutely create the life that you're living um and so I just really wanted, I just had this feeling that I needed to get on here and share this today. And I want I want you to do this. So don't just listen to me and go, yeah, that's awesome, cool, or mm, rubbish. Mm. But actually, like, think about this and explore it and maybe take control of some of that chatter in your head around this and think, well, firstly, if I got to choose a belief, or then what would I choose? Or what beliefs do I wish I had that would make life easy and in flow and enjoyable and fun and light and full of adventure and full of love and whatever other values that you have that are really important to you? What would those beliefs be? And write them down, like write them down somewhere. But don't just write them down and forget about them. Because the whole thing about beliefs is that they're repeated. We our beliefs become stronger the more we repeat them. So what you need to do with these beliefs, if you really want to install them, is you need to start repeating them to yourself. You need to start being aware of them when you're going about your daily life and something happens. So maybe someone cuts you up when you're driving and you could be like, oh my God, like this is... Maybe in, instead in that moment you go, hmm, well, so one of my beliefs is life happens for us, not to us. So that's happened for me. It's happened so that I can be something more, learn something new, take on a different thing, challenge myself, grow. That's happened for a reason and I get to be more because of it. And so because that's my belief, when someone does that, I don't just get cross and annoyed. I see it as an opportunity for growth, which means that I get to feel good about it and I get to feel like I'm becoming more because of it. Does that make sense? And so what might just, and it doesn't matter whether you're watching now or whether you're watching this later, but what might just one of those beliefs be that you that you feel like if you took that on as a fundamental belief in your life, life would just be so much easier and so much more. Sally, you say, I like that saying life happens for us. Yeah, it's one of my favorite ones. Life life happens for me, not to me. I get to. And, and also the other one, which is little, but instead of I've got to, but I get to do this. I get to live the life that I dream of. I get to make choices every single day. Um, I get to do all of this. So there's some of the little things that make a huge difference in my own life, along with some of those beliefs that actually I feel like I am connected to something far bigger because that supports me massively as a belief because I feel like I'm not on my own. And I think that it's only when we feel lonely and we feel like we're alone that we start questioning we set ourselves. We can start thinking I'm not good enough. I'm not ready. Um, we can start thinking all of those kind of things that actually just hold us back and get in our way and stop us from feeling happy. Because ultimately, we all want to feel happy and we all want to feel free and we all want to feel loved. Like they're the big things that everyone wants in life, right? But there are all these little things that can get in the way except they don't need to because we can choose our beliefs and we can choose empowering beliefs that means that we get to live our lives in a way that we really want to because we feel like we're not alone or we feel like there's a bigger picture or we feel like these things are happening for us um, and so it can it completely changes the way that we go about living our lives it changes the way that we feel when we wake up first in the morning and not not on a um, surface level at all, when we actually start living by these new beliefs, when we start reminding ourselves of them daily, when we say it over and over, when we change the conversation that we're having in our heads, when we collect evidence as well. So actually going about, so one of the things that I've been working on in my own life is, is that whole idea that miracles happen to us every single day. We just have to notice them. And so since starting to think about this, I notice those miracles like miracles can be anything right um I notice those miracles happen again and again and again and again and so my belief grows I start going wow this really does happen these 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 synchronicities that happen in life happen all the time and I just the more I notice them 
the more life happens for me and the more amazing opportunities that I get. So you, you can see how these beliefs actually can pile on top of each other and put you in a really strong, stable place so that whatever life throws at you and I know that life can throw horrendous things at some people. Um, and so I'm not bringing that down at all. But if you've got those beliefs firmly in place, it you're going to deal with whatever life throws at you in a very different way because you're going to feel so much stronger, so much more secure, so much safer. Um, you're going to be coming from that place of personal power rather than like wishy-washy all over the place and, 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 and just not having that core attachment and core strength that we need now to really live our lives fully. So Miranda, you popped a few things in there. Let me read what you've put. Um, you're amazing. Oh, thank you. And truly in, 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 <laughs> insightful and inspiring. I love your positivity. So, thank you, Miranda. That is beautiful. Thank you, firstly, for your beautiful words. And secondly, for being here. Um, that is awesome. And yes, but and the thing is, we all get to do that, right? So I get to do this by showing up right now. And you've just done this by giving me that feedback, which makes me like, makes me really happy and makes me shine even brighter and then I know that you will go and pass this on to other people and shine your light brightly and and so it's all of those little beliefs because that in itself is a belief right I, I believe that we all get to shine our light brightly I, I believe that we're all individuals for a reason and the reason that we're different is because the world needs our difference so we should be more us because when we're we're being more us we help more people and so all kinds of these things so but I'm going to get, start ranting. So I don't, I'm not going to do that. But take time out today. So whether you're watching this now or watching this later, take time out today. What beliefs do you wish that you had? Because life would be more joyful, more filled with love, more filled with passion, more filled with adventure, more filled with freedom if you had them. Start saying it to yourself regularly. Change the conversation in your head and start collecting evidence and actually noticing it. Wow, look what just happened. This just happened, which is amazing. I knew that when I knew that I was guided and that I would make this decision today, which has led me to this place. And now because of that, look at these amazing events that are unfolding or wow, look, life did this for me. And it's meant that I got to learn this today. And I know that tomorrow that's going to help me in whatever way, shape or form that is. So just take this on for yourself, play with it, see it as an experiment. Um, there should be a lightness as you do this, not a heaviness. Beliefs might be big, important things, but we don't need to be super serious about it because when we're serious about things, it takes the fun out of it. And life is supposed, I believe, life is supposed to be about fun and joy and laughter. And so go at this with fun and joy and laughter. Like if you get to play with this, if you get to experiment with this, if you get to make changes, what would they be? Um, and go and do it and play with it and, and turn it into a game. Right? If you've got children or if you've, anyone like, not games on just for kids right <laughs> um like with the people in your life play with this play the game like what what beliefs do you wish you had um or what do you wish that you believed about life or what are those things that you wish were true about the world that we live in and see what they come up with and then you could it can start that conversation around like well what if that was true like what if that was true then what would you do then what would you believe then how would you think then what would you feel then what choices would you make if that was true so like for example i'm gonna and i am gonna go a bit off track because i know that not everyone's parents and so you might be like oh but um like for example a conversation with my little boy who wants to be an author when he grows up right and he's like I want to be an author and I was like well just imagine you you've got this you can totally be an author you can write whatever books you want to people will adore your books people will be queuing up to buy your books people will be you'll be sat at those desks like writing your signature and inspiring all these other people with your books imagine what that would be like and he was like wow like that would be amazing I was like if that was true what kind of things would you be doing and he'd be like oh well I would write even more because I would would know brings tears to my eyes right? um but I would write even more because I'd know that people wanted to read it and it made people happy and it made people like enjoy things more or it let people escape because they got to read something that I'd written I was like you would write even more and he was like yeah I would write even more because that would feel amazing and not only that but it, I'd also get paid lots of money so I could have a big house and lots of dogs and I do, so, so there's a bit of that going on as well um but I was like so if that was true like what could you start doing now is that I could start writing more now because even the stories that I write now I could still give out to people and they could still enjoy right and so it can lead to this beautiful 
actually, well, if that was that, and if you believe that, what would you do? Well, actually, you could start doing now, because imagine if you started doing it now, how that could change people's lives. Imagine now how like kids might read that and feel inspired. Imagine now what difference that could make. Imagine now if you made money doing that, what you could buy with it. Um, but, you, you know, so so play with this and experiment with it with the people that you love. I'm done for today. Thank you for joining me. Miranda and Sally, thanks for hopping on live. I know it's middle of the day and it was just a quick thing that I decided to hop on and talk about. But if you're watching this back, then please say hello. And if you haven't noticed, there's a little link above because next week I'm doing a, a live training, a full on live training. Um, and I'd love you to join me for it. It's going to be on Zoom. So you need to click the link above so that I can send you on Messenger um, the details through the Zoom code, the date, the time. Um, so go do that. I will see you soon. Go and have a fabulous day. Take care. Bye.